Everything is fixed. Todd we is hope. not fixed, but he is Definitely back. Definitely not. So, yeah. I've got a few screws loose. <laughs> <laughs> we'll adjust over the weekend, though, and get them right for Monday. Um, hi, everyone. Good morning. It's Friday. We made it through most of the week, heading into the weekend. And our temps this morning aren't really that bad. For the second morning in a row, we're doing okay. We've got a lot of 20s out there and a couple of spots that are above freezing right now in Rockland and also out in Callis. Radar is picking up a little action. There might be a little freezing drizzle in parts of eastern Maine. There's some light snow falling across the north. We've got a lot more action coming our way. First of all, to our south, there's an area of low pressure, big storm that's going to ride right up along this front into the Canadian Maritimes. Mentioned this yesterday, blizzard conditions for them. Clips down east Maine tonight. We've got this Arctic front to our west. This slides through this afternoon. We'll reach our highs late this morning, and then our temperatures fall. We're in the Arctic air all weekend long, and then a second storm makes a run at us. That one gets all of us. Looks like a pretty significant one for Monday. Cloudy with a few flakes out there this morning. Feeling fine, though. You can do it. You can definitely do it. Get to the middle of the day, still plenty of cloud cover. Snow showers start to enter down east Maine as that storm gets closer. We still have respectable temperatures at this point. However, the wind is beginning to pick up, and it is going to be very blustery this afternoon and early this evening. As you can see, steady snows lined up over extreme eastern Washington County. Looks like out by the bays we'll be getting the most. In fact, out here, there's probably going to be around a half a foot for Passamaquoddy and Cobbs Cook Bay. The gradient, though, tapers very quickly. In fact, just some flurries in Bangor. There'll probably be a coating in Bar Harbor, a couple of inches out through Machias, and again, the max amounts out near the base. Passamaquoddy, Cobbs Cook, and also the Bay of Fundy, where they're going to get nailed with probably a foot of snow. So there goes the storm off to our east tomorrow. We're in the heart of the cold all weekend long, just brutal, and the wind is going to be cranking tomorrow, too. We'll have wind chills tonight, tomorrow, into tomorrow night, significantly below zero. The air will rival what we had earlier last week. That cold air is with us Sunday and Monday. However, this high drifts east and doesn't lock it in, unfortunately. So this storm, I still feel like, is an inside runner, meaning we'll start as snow, but likely go over to a messy mix for the coastline and maybe even some mixing across the interior too. I still like this storm for the mountains and I like it a lot. I'd say it's going to be around a foot for all the ski resorts. So thumbs up for you guys. You deserve it. You've been waiting for this all year. The rest of us, it's going to be more complicated. We'll have several inches of snow before we go over to that transition of sleet, of freezing rain, and probably even some plain old rain at the coastline. That's how it's looking right now. A long way off. Keep checking back for more info. Gale warnings are up late tonight through tomorrow morning. The winds are going to be cranking this afternoon. They start gusting to 45 knots out of the north. Seas building through the day too, up to four to seven feet. Cloudy today, a few flakes out there. Tonight, down east Maine, you get a few inches of snow. Over the weekend, we all see sunshine, both Saturday and Sunday. Highly ineffective though. Highs between 10 and 15 tomorrow. Highs around 20 on Sunday. Monday, snow, ice, rain. It's going to be a mess. Sun returns on Tuesday. Stays seasonably cold into the middle of the week with some more snow showers on Wednesday. And then it looks like, Lee, another blast from the Arctic next weekend, too. All right. Yes. Bring it, it on. Let's just keep on Let's coming. Let's go. Let's kill all <laughs> weekends.